again and welcome to another beer review and today I'm going to try and outdo the King Slayer because today I have some, picked up something by Vacation Brewery Barrel Age Series the Imperial Banana Chocolate and Banana Stout but the most important thing it is 11.4% so we're going to give it a whirl see if I'm still living by the time I try this the trusty Sam Smith's glass again I was thinking uh, I'm better off having that than just glass because you can't really see through it very well. But we'll see how deadly this is. Oh, definitely a stout. Really um, tanned head on it as well. I don't know if you can. Yeah, you can smell the banana. It smells like ripe banana. Not gone off banana, but ripe banana. Got the blurb on here, Imperial Banana. Um, but you didn't come here to um, hear me read a blurb. So we're going to try this. But I was just uh, going to say that I used to love the banana muller corners with the chocolate cornflakes. You could dip in them. And I'm hoping this is going to taste something like it. Oh, that is sweet. It's like treacle. It's not like it's not like a stout. Let's say it smells like ripe banana, which is up to you if you like ripe banana. I I can feel the alcohol in it. Eleven point four. I think um, Joe will like this. That is sweet. I like banana, but that has a lot of flavour to it. Usually you have some flavoured beers and stouts. Shut the camera a bit there. That don't have that's got a lot of flavour. It's very sweet. I don't know if I could take a big gulp. Because usually in these reviews, I like to s smell the drink and then I'll take a little sip and then I'll take a, like a big gulp. Oh, I don't know if that's the alcohol or the sweetness, but something's definitely knocking me back. I'll try, I can only drink a bit at a time. But. It is worth trying. I couldn't see me drinking this on a regular basis. I don't even know if I'm going to finish this. So. <laughs> but if you like chocolate and banana, by all means, try. it's worth trying. It was £3 a can from Tesco. I think you can still pick these up at like Asda and Morrison's, things like that. But oh, the flavour, the flavour in that. I could see a can of this lasting you the majority of the evening. This is. Oh. The flavour's nice, and I want to like it, and I do like it, but then it. Very sweet, it knocks you back. Because usually, if you have a chocolate stout, it's not that sweet. But you can really taste the banana in there. I thought it was going to be just a little bit, but it's not just a little bit, it's a big bit. So um, that is Vocation Imperial Banana. I would recommend it three quid a can. Not do you for most of the night, but my head's already buzzing from that eleven <laughs> percent. It's almost more of it is more of a liqueur actually. I wouldn't even say it's a beer. That that's exactly what it is. It's a banana and chocolate liqueur. It's not even. It's a bit like a stout, but it's not really like a Guinness or. Um, some of the brew dog styles I've had. So yeah, that's weird. Anyway, I'll pick this up and do a quick review. The Marmite review is coming. I know a few of you want to see that. It's going to be love, hate, love, hate. But in the meantime, enjoy this. I've done a review on Elvis Juice recently and Banks's, Banks's was 89p and it tasted like it was 89p. So I'll see you again soon with the Marmite review. And uh, I think I've got some guests lined up for a few reviews soon. So comment below what you're drinking at the moment, what you want me to uh, try. And uh, if you've tried this, cheers.